Hey everybody, Indigo here, just putting out a quick video. I've had a lot of people asking me, um, you keep talking about um, manifestation, you keep talking about setting your intentions, um, what is that? How do I do that? So this video is just um, going to go through some steps that um, I use, that I have learned from people that I have studied under, as well as um, source my angels. So... <laughs> Intention is so important. Um, you have to know what you want. So you really just need to start out by asking, who am I? Do I even know who I am? If you don't know who you are, figure it out. Who am I? What do I want from this life? What is it that I am here for? What do I want to create? Once you know that answer, write it down. Write down everything. Write down exactly what you want. Exactly what you want for your life, what you want out of life, what you want to do in your life, what you want your life to stand for. Every detail. This is a life vision. This is your life purpose. This is what you feel you are put on this earth to do. Once you figure that out, go over it. Go over it and over it and over it. Read it every day. Read that intention, read that um, life's vision you have for yourself every single day. Once you figure out what it is that you are, who you are, what you stand for, and what you want to do in this life, create a picture in your mind. Close your eyes. Write it down exactly how you envision it. Write down the steps exactly of how you're going to get to that life. How are you going to do this? What are you going to do? Don't let your mind stop you because I don't have the money to do this. I am in the wrong area of the country to do this. I don't know how I'm going to do this because let that all go. There is no bounds and no boundaries to what your mind can envision in your future. So close your eyes. Envision what it is that you feel you stand for, what you want to do in this life, and write it all down. Don't worry about the little details. Just write it down, what you vision. Who do you have to become to claim the life that you want to accomplish? What are the steps? When most people ask or are asked, who are you? You'd be surprised at how many people cannot even answer that question. Who am I? I don't know. Well, I am Indigo. I am on YouTube. Those That isn't who you are. That is what you're labeled by. Your, your name is not your name. Your name was given to you by your parents. For some, a way for people to call out you and know that, oh, that's me. Really dig in deep. Who are you? What do you stand for? What do you want? What do you want to create? Find the answer of who am I? When most people are asked, what do you want from life? A lot of people, a lot of people don't know what they want from life, but a lot of people know what they don't want. And nine times out of 10, what they don't want is because it's what they've already been living most people are just wandering around aimlessly without, without any direction. If you know where you want to end up, you'll get there. If you don't know where you want to end up, you'll wind up exactly where you don't want to be. That does not have to be you. Okay. So the first step, in doing in starting your intention is you have to get quiet. You have to go to a space where it is just you and the quietness around you. Um, yeah. I, my angels are saying quietness is the only thing that cannot be split up that cannot be divided. It has to just be you and silence because when you divide silence in half, you still get silence. It's just, you have to be one with 
your meditation for one. Um, get into your quiet space where it's just you and silence and ask yourself, who am I? What do I really want for my life? Yeah, and what, what you will have come to you will amaze you. You know, ask yourself, what do I have to do to get the best life for me? What do I have to, what steps do I have to take to create my dream? And then write it all down. Second, you need to ask, what is my purpose? Why am I here? Why must I do this? Why am I in this universe, in this world, in this, on this planet? What am I here for? What is my purpose? You know, you really want to ask yourself, what kind of example do I want to set? What do I want to teach my children, my grandchildren, my future generations of just humanity in general? What legacy do I want to live? What, what, what stamp do I want to leave when I leave this world? Once you have that clarity... Once you have that clear purpose, you can start to get to work. That is your first step in setting an intention. You have to know what you are intending to do before the universe can help you get there. The universe cannot help you get to your destination if you don't even have a roadmap to get there. Because there are a lot of people in, on this planet that have a lot of dreams, a lot of aspirations, but the universe doesn't know which dream they want to achieve. You have to set your intention. You have to know what you want out of life, who you are, what you're here for. And if you don't know, you're only going to find that in the silence of your own mind, because the next door neighbor is not going to be able to tell you your life purpose. I cannot tell you your life purpose. Only you can find your life's purpose. And in order to do that, you have to quiet your mind and just sit. You don't have to sit in meditation, clear out your mind, clear out your everything. No, just sit in silence and ask yourself, who am I? Really do some inner reflection and you will be surprised at what you find for an answer. Um, you just have to make every day your best day. Grow and evolve every day. It doesn't have to be by leaps and bounds. As long as you are moving forward, whether they're baby steps or you are taking as big a strides as you can, as long as you're moving in the direction of your dream, of your goal, the universe is going to help you get to that point. You want to set an example of a great life every day. You want to... Love the life you're living every day. You want to you want to have that life. It is now up to you to claim that life. It is up to you to decide what it is that you want so the universe can help you get it. And you're thinking, well, I can't do that. I can't. I don't have the money. I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have whatever. As long as you have a dream and a goal and are willing to put in the work to achieve that, the universe will take care of the rest. You have to set your intention, what I just said, in, in the quiet. Write everything down. Every detail that you want to achieve, every goal you want to have, send it to the universe. Let go of the attachment of how it comes to you. And I guarantee, I promise, the universe will get you to that place of manifestation if you give up the outcome. Don't worry about the details. Just know that that's where you're getting. Whether you have to walk, jog, ride a bike, run, drive, whatever, it don't matter. As long as you take one step in that direction, you will get to that goal. You will achieve that dream that you're wanting, that life's purpose. You know, the universe wants you to ask yourself, who are you? Are you living a life that you want or are you settling? Are you living in a way others expect you to live? Are you settling for something else you don't really want just because you want to fit in to society? You want to 
make sure that that you aren't the outsider, the outcast. You you're you're choosing to live a life that is more easy because following your dreams, chasing your dreams is is harder is poses more challenges. The universe will help you manifest if you have the courage and the drive to set your intention and then take the steps to achieve that. After you set your intention and you give it to the universe and you let go of that attachment of the outcome of how it's going to come to you and just accept the fact that it is coming to you, three things is all it takes. Three things will carry you through life. If you let them, you have to let them. And it, these are so important. Um, number one, know who you are. That is so important. Be able to answer that question. Who am I? What do I want? Which is your first step of intention. Understand that you are connected directly to source. That all that is possible, all that is, is possible for you. That's who you are. You can have anything, anything that can be created in this world. You can have if you want it, if you know who you are, if you know what you're going after and what do you want? I don't want to be just successful or make a mark in this world. I want to fulfill my highest and truest expression of myself, my highest potential. That is a successful life. That is what can be manifested for you. Fulfill the promise that the creator dreamed when he dreamed of you. When he thought of you, made you, you had, he had a dream for you. So fulfill that dream, follow that dream, be that dream. If you, if you have some kind of vision for your life, even if you don't know the plan, even if you don't know how you're going to get there, you have to know what direction you're heading in. You have to have some kind of vision. You have to have some kind of destination. Even if you don't know the route yet, you have to know the direction you're moving in. The universe will not know that, will not be able to help you if they don't know your intention of what your direction is. So important. You, yeah, you want to, um, I'm trying to find the word, like you want to be the driver of your life. You don't want life to drive you because it will drive you to a destination that is nothing what you want. It'll take you places that you do not want to go. If you are the driver, if you are in control of your life and you know the direction you're heading in, you will get there. You will get there, I promise. The second um, important thing that will carry you through life is service. You must find a way to serve. Greatness is determined by service. What are you going to do? for humanity? What are you going to do for the collective? What are you going to do and contribute to this world? A lot of people place value on if you are known um, in public, if you're famous, if you have a lot of money, um, you know, it, that is not success. Success is being able to give back. Um, service and significance that that you are able to create and bring to this world, that is what will bring you success. And I promise that the monetary gain will follow you. But what is most important is whatever you do, whatever you produce, whatever you contribute to the world, to the collective, is something that's giving back in a way of serving your fellow man, woman, whatever. Um, Service plus significance equals success. And it is so true. It is so amazing. Um, you remember those people that 
provide you good service, whether it be going through a fast food drive through or um, just anything, even the smallest amount of service that is genuine and above all um, compassionate, kind, just not necessarily needed or expected, but you go above and beyond, those are the people that stick out in your mind. And it is so true. So you must find a way to serve the collective. That is the second um, key to finding your life's purpose and, <clears throat> and being successful. Um, it's just, it when you shift the paradigm of whatever it is, that you choose to do as a service, success will follow you. The third one and the most important is to always, always, always do the right thing. Whether somebody is looking or not, whether you can completely get away with it and nobody would ever know or not. That is the most important piece to the puzzle. People notice. People notice when you are subpar and when you are excellent. So be excellent. Let excellence be the brand of who you are. When you say you're going to do something, follow through. When you do the right thing, when nobody is watching, the right thing will always come back to you. The third law of motion is for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. And that is so true in life. When you put good out, you get good in. It's karma. So always do the right thing and you will always have good that comes back to you. What it is about how you do everything in life happens for a reason. There is a purpose behind everybody's actions, whether you consciously or subconsciously are doing them. There is a reason. Find the glory, find the feeling of life itself, things that feel so good that you can't even put them into words. That is success. Be beautiful, be wonderful, be divine because There is a miracle in life itself. And when you let that flow through you, in you, as you, you will then understand your divine purpose. You will then understand why everything is happening for a reason. Be the miracle you were meant to be. Be the miracle that you were intended when you took your first breath on this earth. Because life will make sense. And you will then be able to touch the world with your life's purpose. You will then be able to make a difference, whether it be in the difference of yourself, one person's life, or the entire world. When you live through service, when you live by doing the right things, the beauty of life will find you. The divine process that you take part in is in a way, how you set your intention. Um, this is your opportunity to create a new you. This is your new beginning. Every day you have the opportunity to start over new, to start over fresh, a clean canvas, create what you want, leave the past behind you. When you are driving a car, a car of life, your windshield is this big, right? Why? So you can see everything in front of you. Your rear view mirror is this big. There is a reason for that. There is so much importance and significance in seeing what is in front of me, in front of you to see life coming as it is. And there's no reason to look behind you except for occasionally, maybe to find motivation, to see how far you've come, but no other reason. So leave the past behind you. Let it all fall away because this is a new day. This is a new, fresh, clean canvas. This is your opportunity to create the life you deserve, to create the life that you want, not what society wants, not what everybody thinks you should have, but to have the courage, the confidence, and the will to, to
to live you. Um, a lot of people change who they truly are just to fit in, just to, so it's easy, comfortable. It's a new day. Charge forward. Make your intention. Quiet your mind. Quiet yourself. Sit with yourself long enough to know who you are. Long enough to figure it out. One hour a day is all it will take. One hour. And you will see the world in a whole new way. You will see yourself for who you really are and know that you are part of the divine. You are part of the beauty of what is. So now take that creative spark inside you and let it shine. Don't worry about people who are trying to blow out your flame because you will shine if you follow your own heart because that is when you will find your true purpose. So go within, ask, who am I? What do I want? And where am I going? Those are the three questions to your intention. Write them down, every detail, give it up to the universe, and then start walking in that direction. Don't stray from your path and you will find much success. Much love to you all. Love, light, and God bless.